com. She is here with visual aids. Beth Finnegan from the Indiana County Humane Society. Our conversation is brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Beth, good morning. Good morning, Todd. How are you? I'm just lovely. Your podcast today does indeed include a prop, doesn't it? It, it does include a prop. Yeah. Oh well, I, I know you know this already. Mm-hmm. But October is Subaru Loves Pets Month, and Delaney Subaru has chosen us as their partner for this month. And for every adoption we do in October, they will donate $100 to the Indiana County Humane Society. Wow. So we are doing 31 adoptions in 31 days in there she honor is. of that. For folks on Facebook, Beth is now looking out the windshield of a Subaru. Yep. And and so far, we have, a, have had 24 adoptions. Wow. So we are hoping to make our goal by mm-hmm. the end of the month. And we are really honored because one of our supporters came forward and sponsored 10 of our dog adoptions. Wow. Yep. Some of those dogs have been adopted, but there's still some that haven't. And these are our long-term resident dogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few of them become, came from uh, humane rescue situations. And they're just lovely, lovely animals. So when somebody adopts, as you said, um, basically they pay the fees and yeah. and then somebody who would normally have to pay the fee in order to adopt a dog, they don't have to pay now. Absolutely. On these specific dogs, dogs. Yep, okay. their adoption fees have been paid for by this lovely sponsor. So we're really happy about that. Yeah. And if anybody's interested in adopting, I encourage you, first of all, to look at your local shelters first. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're interested in seeing what we the animals we have available for adoption, please go to our website, incohumanesociety.com. You can just Google in Indiana County Humane Society, mm-hmm. and it'll take you there, and you can see all the pets that are available for adoption. And also remember, we have four guinea pigs still. Oh, yeah? Yes, we do. Yeah. And many cats. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. So, so you can submit your application from right there online, too, Yep, right? you sure can. Uh-huh. Or you can come into the shelter. Yeah. We have a little uh, laptop that you can look at a slideshow of the animals or the dogs that are available for adoption, mm-hmm. and you can fill an application out right there in our lobby, too. Which doesn't mean you don't get to meet the dog before you adopt the dog. You get to do that, too. You do. Once your application is approved, we get all that set up. We set up appointments for you to come as often as you need to. Mm-hmm. And yes, that's how we do our process. Yeah. All right. So that's, that's one bit of good news for you today, but you have something even bigger with I, you this I morning. I do have something even bigger. The fact that you can oh, there's the Subaru win again. this car. This is a Subaru, a 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Sport Edition. There you go. You got to get close to that microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard with the prop. I can tell that. So you can actually win this exact car in uh-huh. Alpine Green. We went and picked that car out as part of our golden ticket raffle. So they're not winning the cardboard cutout you just held up. Oh, no, no. They're winning the actual vehicle. They are, and it's a beauty. Mm -hmm. Sunroof, all sorts of accessories. It's just gorgeous. So what we're doing, we just kicked off our golden ticket raffle. This is a big fundraiser for us. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if people can see the golden ticket, but um, what this raffle is is beginning on May 13th. Of mm-hmm. 2024, we have 10 days of cash prizes. So $500 each day for 10 days. Mm-hmm. On the 11th day, you can win a Yamaha Kodiak 700 ATV. Wow. That we got from Tom Cycle. And on the 12th day, mm-hmm. it's the beautiful 2024 Subaru Cross Trek Sport. Wow. That we got from Delaney Subaru. So we are really thrilled about this. So cash for. 10 days. Cash for 10 days. And then the ATV. And then the grand prize winner Uh is the Subaru Crosstrek. Wow. Yeah. I know. It's really exciting. So these tickets are now available. You can come to the shelter and buy them. They're $40 a piece. Mm -hmm. It has four 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 four-digit numbers on it. Everything is based off the evening pick four lottery number. Okay. And we're actually going to have a little party on May 24th when the uh, Crosstrek is going to be the winner of the cross truck is going to be determined. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a little gathering over at Levity to celebrate. Um, so we're really looking forward to this. We'll be selling these all through up until yeah. the actual drawing start. So that, that's seven months away from now. I know. But you're already excited. Oh, my gosh. We're so excited. Yeah. yeah. We hope the community will support us on this. 
Um, this is a big fundraiser for us for 2024. We're always looking ahead, mm-hmm. always planning to make sure that we uh, can take care of everything that we need to do at the shelter for our shelter animal family. There you go. There you go. Very, very nice. Now, um, just because that's happening in May doesn't mean there's nothing happening between now and then. You've got lots of things, including a big holiday celebration with pet and family pictures with, with the guy from the North Pole. I know. That's I happening? know. Yeah, it is happening. It's, it's incredible to th- even be thinking about Christmas. I know mm-hmm. some people are, but we have set up our photos with Santa. Our pet and family pictures with Santa will be at Sit and Stay Cafe. On Saturday, November 18th. Now, that's a significant weekend for us here in Indiana. Mm-hmm. The, the night before is the Light Up Parade. Mm-hmm. And then that, of course, kicks off the It's a Wonderful Life Festival here in Indiana. Um, so we'll be at Sit and Stay Cafe on Saturday, November 18th with Santa uh-huh. to take some pictures. We'll be doing that from 3 to 5 in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. We encourage folks to come on down, get some holiday cheer, kick off this great holiday season with us, and certainly get some pictures with Santa. Wonderful Life Festival, of course, that kicks off that weekend, too. It does. And you're a big part of it. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we love to be a part of it, and and certainly it, the It's a Wonderful Life Festival is a big part mm-hmm. of Indiana. Yeah, yeah. Now, working backwards, the weekend before that is uh, the weekend of November 10th, 11th, and 12th. And uh-huh. Veterans Day is November 11th. You've got a big deal happening that night. We sure do. So on Saturday, November 11th, we have our fall gun bash. It's held at the Altman Fire Hall. We do still have some tickets available. If anyone's interested in purchasing them, please come to the shelter. We have them there. They're $20. That includes food and drink. Uh, and we uh, doors open at 3.30, uh, the first prizes are drawn at 420, and literally every 10 minutes, if not more frequently, mm-hmm. we are giving away cash prizes, gun prizes. We have a basket raffle going on. Again, I mentioned the food. It is delicious. Um, it's just a great event. And, of course, we have a mystery gun. That prize is usually drawn around 730. That's the last prize. Um, so please consider coming. Uh, again, tickets are available at the shelter, mm-hmm. but they are going fast. So I encourage folks, if they're interested in coming, to come by the shelter and buy their tickets. That's Bob's big shindig, isn't it? Uh, it is Bob's big shindig. Yep. There you go. Uh-huh. There you go. I'm just his sidekick for that. There you go. You're you're the little elf. I Bob. am the little elf, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's the gun bash. Beth is full of all kinds of good news for us today. We do want to put in a reminder, serious reminder, too, about spaying and neutering. Absolutely. You know, it, 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 I feel like Bob Barker, you know, he, at the end of every Price is Right, he said, please spay and neuter your animals. Mm-hmm. We need to, to remember that for the animals of our community, too. That helps keep the animal, pop, animal population down, uh, keeps our animals healthy. And, of course, every animal that's up for adoption at the Humane Society has been spayed or neutered prior to adoption. So we just want to encourage everybody to do that. And I also, again, want to put a plug in to help us reach our goal of 31 adoptions in 31 days Mm -hmm. at the shelter. Um, You said you're at 24 right now? We're at 24, yep. But this is the 26th, so we don't want to fall behind. No, we don't want to fall behind. Yeah, yeah, we've still got a ways to go here. Yep, we've got a big weekend ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, see if we can't get to 31 adoptions in 31 days. All of those different things that... Beth was talking about here, just an amazing amount of work being done in support of uh, these wonderful animals in the shelter. Thank you so much, Todd. Our pleasure, Beth. Thank you for coming in to visit with us. It's always good to have you in the studio. Well, it's always great to be here, and and thank you for letting me bring my prop in today. She's got her prop. There she goes, (laughs) looking out the windshield. There you go. She's somehow sitting in the middle of that. Put yourself on the driver's side of that. Okay. There I guess that would be in America, yeah, this there you side. Go. There you go. That's right. <laughs> Only in America. She's Beth Finnegan, Indiana County Humane Society. Thank you, Beth. Thank you so much, Todd. It is the voice of Indiana County. It is WCCS.